so uh, let's understand how the stack is working right and how why it is important to understand a call of recursions right stack calls so do not worry about it like if you are new or if you are just starting your recursion then i will make you understand each and everything okay i just uh, finished this uh, theoretical part because i know this will be boring right because uh, you are learning a coding part but this is very important to understand how the theory is okay now let us understand what is the first question says you have to print a 5 4 3 2 1 okay and what is the code i will not show you because if you see the code at once then the interest will be gone okay <laughs> let me take you to the compiler or IntelliJ. okay what is your question is you have to print 5 5 4 3 2 and 1 i hope it is visible to you okay now let me write a program for you then i will make you understand each and every point public static void why i am writing a void because i do not want to return anything from my method okay and i will say print and in print i will say integer and okay now from here what your work is let me make you understand let me remove all these okay your work is to print 5 4 3 2 1 now as we have learned from your notes that we can assume after this theorem because this concept it took from the mathematical induction theorem right so from this theorem lhs is equal to rsh like we have some equation then it will work for one input then we can assume it will work for some higher input or some lower input if it is work for one input in which cases let's suppose you have a searching in searching we do a steps a similar steps again and again in shorting we do a similar steps again and again right so similar if you found a task where you want to perform a work again and again in that case you can assume like if it your code is working for one then your code will work for other inputs no matter it is higher or lower input so let us see what your task is to print a 5 right let me change that what your task is to print a 5 right so you can directly say sop 5 let me write a code for it you can say Ashwini, this is very simple i can do this like system s out what it is s out and you can say print f instant of print ln you can say actually this is very simple i can say n this will work right now but what happened if you say print n then if you are like this is your uh, print method right and it expecting an integer value n and you say sop n so whatever the value you are passing let's suppose 5 then it will print a 5 but i want this series right i want this series so your method need to be called again and again so i need to write that code but this code is working for 5 and this is a value till here this is your n right total the this is a n n and this is your n minus 1 so let's assume here that your code is working for your code is working for n right then it will work for n minus 1 also yeah so now what you have to do i want to call my method right i just print my method now again call it and in call what you have to do n minus 1 why because if you can see here 5 now your output will be decreasing right so now you can say ashwini run the code so i will just do one thing i will uh, print this and i will pass 5 right let me shall i run it yeah you say ashwini run this code so let me run this okay now you can see my code is building okay still build 
passing data structure it is a first project that's why it's taking a time but you can see what the error is right the error we are talking about in a first video recursion recursion and this will be error and it's not getting stopped so you say 5 4 3 2 1 now let's understand this you say here print n minus 1 right now your what happened here let understand the method stack this is your main call okay and here this is your print and here you passing print 5 n equals to 5 again you are passing n equals to 4 again you are passing n equals to 3 again you are passing n equals to 2 again you are passing n equals to 1 and again you are passing n equals to 0 okay so you can see it from here right it is doing your work 5 4 3 2 1 right you have given your code in that manner now if you ask me hey Ashwini this question is uh, this code is right or wrong I will say yeah this question is half correct because it is doing your work but it it is not doing a proper manner because it is just extending my memory okay so what is happened here it is going uh, out of memory that's why the program got terminated okay so here the stack will keep on growing keep on growing like n minus 1 n minus 2 like this okay so what you need to do here now right we are talking about the recursive call should terminate it so you need to put a some a termination case or base case so what we will do that you will say if and equal equals to one return only return because it is a my void method okay so can you run this ashwini once yeah let me run it now it is building and you can check the output 5 4 3 2 1 i just mentioned the wrong here 0 okay let me run it again not run with coverages only without coverage okay 5 4 3 2 1 okay uh, let me hide it i don't want notification so you can check 5 4 3 2 1 is your output okay now you can ask me here Ashwini I haven't understand till now like what you are doing no problem let me show you the stack in very clear manner okay first make you understand then I will show you in a compiler so what you are doing you have written a code okay and what is your code is and what is your stack is so this is your stack okay and this is your main call. This is your n equals to 5. This is your n equals to 4. n equals to 3. And n equals to 2. And this is n equals to 1. And this is n equals to 0. This will be your stack. Okay. Let me show you. I will put uh, my debugger. Okay here and i have debug my code now as you can see here this side right where i am just hovering my mouse this is your main call from here this is your main right okay let me scroll down a little bit and this is your method so here the value of n is 5 you can check value n 5 okay let me came down now print 5 you can check the console the value is 5 okay now again go here and value now you can check here the stack is built main and equals to 5 and equals to 4 again and equals to 3 again and equals to 2 again n equals to 1 
now this is your base case now you can check here true right and it will come here return and came back now you can ask me hey Ashwini here you can check this all this tag but at a one press if I again do the next line all the entries this all the entries directly terminated or directly removed from your stack like this will also remove this will also remove this will also remove not remove directly it will come here come here come here and remove and it will go to the main and program finished but in some cases if you have a line after the line number 13 any code after line number 13 then after the your first line this first of execution and number of like n equals to 1 when you are calling a recursion method for this your that line will be executed here okay i will show you in the next question do not worry about it but i do not want to miss any concept that's why i'm telling you now if i say next you can see all the stack is gone only main is here and i say yeah that's over and you can check your console five four three two one i hope this is very interesting and you know that like how we can and how this is this is a stack building okay and we have finished a first point from our notes okay and you can check what we say stack building and you can check this code as same and what i have written in this notes let me tell you n minus 1 let's assume my function is print and work for n minus 1 okay my repeated work is to print a value n because i have tell you right we you have to find what your re repeated work in your code in your question so my repeated work i have to print a value of n again and again but in a decreasing manner so that's why i pass n minus 1 you have to think little bit right now and what's my line says from here the recursion should terminate it as in this highlighter it is important to ensure that recursion is terminated otherwise it will go out of memory because you do not have enough memory to do call a stack again and again right because your method all the method calls is stored in a stack by the compiler now so that's why this point print n minus uh, n minus 1 is called a halt because let me make you explain this also what is a halt you can ask me like ashwini what is halt okay so this is your track railway track okay and this is from your delhi to or somewhere we say agra and from here there are various stations right now this is a station a and this is your station b c d e f g okay now you can ask me here actually this is a what is this thing right now it is a halt no, not this diagram okay i'm just i'm talking about this color okay so this yellow color is a halt between a to b the specific train okay is will be like suppose a train number 22604 okay coming from delhi to agra will be like if train is going from here to here one halt is between a to b and one halt is between c to d will stop here and again start after this halt the train will not come after it right after halt it will it will go in a forward direction only and here also if train reached here at a station c it will stop at this halt and let me name a h1 and h2 so it will stop at h2 okay and after a five minute let's suppose it uh, it will stop for a two minute so after two minute halt it will go to the agra because uh, yeah obviously it will stop at d e f g it will the passenger right <laughs> if it is express it will not stop okay yeah so i hope uh, now in terms of code what is the halt is here so I tell you right like when your program when you uh, press the next button all the entries in from the stack will go away it will direct to the main program if no code is available after that line number 30 let me show your code after the line number 30 
right so this is your halt okay when you call make a call from here okay each and every call is stored in a stack but how your compiler know like after completing this work in stack building where you have to come back when you get your return statement because you know that whenever you got your return statement you have to go back to your caller method so what is a caller it is it is your caller and it is become your halt when you call to the another method method itself okay so when you came back compiler no compiler store a little bit some memory in uh, like in the stack like where we have to return back when we found a return statement so it will came here and start executing a line number 14 but we don't have anything that's why compiler is a bit intelligent type person right we understand okay hey ashwini there is no line of code after this 13 so why should i remove uh, all these stacks one by one let me remove at once only okay so i hope this is a very informative video let me know in a comment section if you are learning something new from it okay till then i will see you in the next video